What's up everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the grappling exchanges and the bout between Kamaru Usman and Hamzat Shemaev from UFC 294 this past weekend. I think Hamzat Shemaev displays some of the best chain wrestling in the entire sport, so we'll take a look at that, especially early on in the first round. And then as we get into the like second and third round, the takedowns get a little bit easier for him, but we will take a look at how Usman got back up to his feet in the third round. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, all that good shit, comment, let me know what you thought of the fights and uh yeah otherwise guys enjoy thank you okay so here we are about what 12 seconds into the first round 11 seconds and one thing about hamza is that he's a notoriously fast starter and we're gonna see that right here he takes a big step in look doesn't even really faint with the hands maybe pumps him a little bit but he takes a shot head down low reaching out with the hands and he manages to cup that left hand behind the right knee of kamaru usman now, Kamaru does a good job of sprawling. Look, he gets his chest over top of Chemaev's back, going to switch his head to the other side, control the head, start looking for a wizard. But Chemaev just does such a good job of keeping a wide base, and he's always running his feet, right, or always moving his feet, and he's always moving them with purpose. And right here is no different. He's going to start driving back into Kamaru Usman and building up to his feet where he's a little bit more mobile and can work this single leg. Now, again, you see another good defensive response from Usman. He glues that right foot to the outside of Chemaev's left leg. That's going to make it hard for Chemaev to do things like run the pipe. But this is where Chemaev really starts chaining things together. And again, we're like, what? This would be the third sequence. First is the initial shot. Second is driving up to the single. Third is going to be backpedaling here and dragging Usman down towards the bottom of our screen. Now, when he does this, he's going to start making Usman take little baby hops. Hop, hop, hop. See that? And as he hops and he keeps moving backwards, those hops are going to get bigger and bigger. So Chemaev is trying to time this, right? And when Chemaev takes this, or I'm sorry, when Usman takes this big hop to try to cover the space between him and Chemaev, Hamzat's going to use this as an opportunity. Look, to hoist that leg high up in the air get his elbow grip deep, readjust a little bit, and now he can start working the inside trip. He hooks his right leg behind the left leg of Kamar Usman and starts rotating him here down towards the mat. As he does so, though, this is really important. He understands that Kamaru is going to have good responses. Look, Usman bases out with his hands. Not quite completing the takedown yet, is Hamzat, but he does a great job, this is so important, of shelving this foot right here on his hip. Now as Usman starts to build his base up and away from Chemaev, it opens up an opportunity for Chemaev to get to the body lock. And when he clears that foot, he's already around to your back. Now notice he's swinging to that other side, and we're going to see this kind of like hula hooping motion from side to side from Chemaev here. Right? He's got his hands locked, and he's going to kind of be like hula hooping around Kamaru. He's going to start attacking the left side first here. And this is something he does a great job of. It moves side to side. Notice how he hooks the left leg. And he's trying to peel Kamaru away from the cage and down to the mat. Every time he does this, he's going to get bigger and bigger responses out of Kamaru. And also, guys, just look at the timing on this right here. He immediately breaks him down to his knees. And once Kamaru is on his knees, he knows that Kamaru is going to need to build back up. So, Chemaev is he knows this, right? As... Usman starts stepping up with that right leg. Notice how Chemaev is already, boom, doing that hula hoop thing. He's swinging around wide base, and he immediately starts hooking the right leg now. So he's just moving from side to side, depending on what Usman gives him. And again, peeling him away from the cage and breaking him down to the mat over and over and over again. And look, this time when he does it here, one sec, here. Look how far he gets Usman away from the cage. Now Usman has to crawl back, work his way back up, right? And it gets exhausting. And again, the openings start getting larger and larger for Chemaev. He does it again here. Watch this, guys. Boom. Look how he blocks the right foot of Kamaru Usman, steps around, gets his knee in front of Kamaru's knee. And this is where things start getting a little more dangerous. And when we're going to start seeing Usman step up the desperation a little bit to get out of this. Usman is going to take his right arm and hook it here behind Shemaev's leg. This is going to be to his detriment here. I think what Usman is going to try to do is Gramby roll, but Shemaev does a great job of keeping this tight waist right here, and he's going to post, boom, with his left hand and negate this sort of roll. Do you see how Usman's trying to kick over? I think what Usman is trying to do is throw his left shoulder down to the mat and maybe roll through here and just create a scramble where he comes up on top. But Shemaev, again, great understanding of positioning, 
keeps the tight waist, and then he posts out wide here, right, to keep the hips of Usman from getting away from him. He controls the hips. Now, because Usman took this scoop grip on the leg, as Usman starts, because his Granby rule just not got negated, as he starts building up, this is going to be to his detriment. Notice how Shemaev immediately moves to the seatbelt grip, and he's kind of grabbing over top of the shoulder here. This is going to give him an opportunity to throw his first hook in. And now Kamaru has to respond to the seatbelt because this hand right here just became a choking threat. So as Usman's hand travels up to block that choking hand, Shemaev uses it as an opportunity to throw his second hook in. And he's going to end up riding the back out here for the rest of the round. But just brilliantly done. And again, the thousands and thousands of hours that this man had to have put in to be able to do this to somebody like Kamaru Usman, man, just uber impressive from Chimaev. Okay, next exchange we're going to look at here, right? About 45 seconds left in round two. There's an argument that Usman's been winning this round so far. And Chimaev, look, he's going to immediately get the hands moving. And it's his timing on this stuff that's so special. Boom, starts pumping the hands a little bit. Level change just shoots in. And look, he's already in on the hips when Usman starts responding. Going to get in on a good double leg here, gets his hands behind both of the legs, and immediately looks to start elevating Kamaru. But I, I swear, I can't find the footage, but I swear I've seen this defensive response, specifically from Usman. Notice that he's over top of the back of uh, Chimaev here. He's going to lock his hands together. And look, as Chimaev looks to start trying to turn the corner here, Usman's going to throw his weight kind of down to the mat. Boom. And look to start rolling him through. I think, though... Notice how he's got Shemaev's head captured on the right side here. I think that what Usman was trying to do is he was hoping that as he took, took him down, he would be able to roll him kind of over his left shoulder. But do you see right there how he bumps into the cage, his elbow runs into the cage? There's nowhere for him to go in that direction. So that attempt kind of stalls out and Hamzad's able to settle in to sort of a side control position here and eventually look after several you know what I mean? And how much control is this if Usman has your head? You know what I mean? Like, how much control is it? But he eventually does manage to free it here. And then the round on top in strong position. But, again, if we just back up a little bit and kind of speed this transition up, I think it shows a little bit more. We're going to see, look, boom, he's in on the double, starts elevating him. But notice how Usman is just going to throw his weight to the mat. But then you can see that his momentum starts to kind of stall out as he maybe tries to roll him over his left shoulder there. If the cage isn't there, maybe this works. Okay, third and final round here. And we're going to see Tremayev land another takedown. And then we'll look at how Usman gets up from that eventually towards the end of the round. Look at this here. We're, typically when you're in this stance, you see a lot of single legs. But Tremayev can cover a lot of distance. And he's going to throw this right hand out there and use that as an opportunity to step his right leg in deep and start looking to get to a double. Usman does a good job, though, of getting that right arm down in between him and Shemaev and stepping back and negating the double leg. But again, it's the chain wrestling. Wrestling. Shemaev immediately transitions to a low single leg, cups both of his hands behind the ankle and the calf there of Usman. He pops his head to the outside, bam, and then he starts bringing that uh, ankle of Usman in towards his hips and climbing up into a deeper single leg. Now he's going to drive Usman, bam, up against the cage here, pins him. Gets his knees tight together, connects his own hands, and from here the double leg is relatively easy to finish. Usman's going to try to go belly down to prevent from getting flattened out. Jemayev, though, does a good job of stepping over, kind of threatening a, I mean, kind of a leg drag position almost, right? There's potential for it here. But anyway, they end up sort of in this half guard position for much of the round until there's about like 40 seconds left or so. So we're going to fast forward to there and look at Usman's escape because I thought it was a good display of jiu-jitsu from him. So again, we're in this half guard position, right? And you can see that Shemaev, I guess there's like 40 seconds. Yeah, right around here. Yeah, we'll start seeing that Shemaev gets this cross face, right? When he gets this cross face pressure in, you see so many people make the mistake of trying to turn into the cross face. It's a pretty futile effort, right? But notice that Usman is going to go with the cross face pressure a little bit. He's got his right hand posted behind the armpit or in the armpit of Chimaev here, right behind the shoulder. And he's going to kind of throw a little punch at him. But really what he's going to do is bridge up onto his left shoulder and get a little bit of elevation with his hips. Boom, right there. This opens up a little window. I guess his hips don't come off the ground so much, right? But what he does do is he just changes the angle. Boom. And it allows him to swim. This is the important part. That left underhook through. Do you guys see how that hand popped up? So now he has an underhook on the same side that he has half guard. Meaning right now, 
He has Hamzat Shumayev's right leg captured between his legs. He wants an underhook on that same side, and he just achieved it, right? So he gets the underhook, and this is where, again, we're going to see some good jiu-jitsu from Usman here. He's going to plant his elbow on the ground, get his hips underneath him. He starts inverting his right knee. So we've gone from a scenario where Usman's hips are facing towards the left of our screen to where he does this little bridge, right? Gets his underhook, gets his hips underneath him, inverts that knee down towards the mat. And now his hips are facing the right of our screen slightly. He's off at an angle this way now. You know what I'm saying? And this is the important part too. Notice that he's going to bring this knee right here towards his own chest and he never lets Hamzat win the knee line battle because Hamzat right here is dangerously close to slicing into mount. But Usman does a good job of winning the knee battle right here. Look, he brings his knee towards his chest, closes off that space, and now they end up going into sort of a deep half guard position as opposed to Hamzat slicing into mount. Now, You'll see that uh, Usman is hooking on to the left leg here of Chmaev. And this is what I mean, man. We're going to see some good jiu-jitsu from Usman here. You think about him as a wrestler, but he's doing good work off of his back. Notice, he's going to be, again, we're in this deep half. Notice how he takes his left ankle and hooks it behind the ankle of Chmaev. He's going to do this here to start stretching him out. Boom, and he gets Chmaev to post. Now, Chmaev's weight is kind of back towards us, right? Like towards the bottom of our screen. And Usman because they're in this position right now and nothing is controlling his hips anymore, has potential to maybe turn his hips down toward the mat and start getting out the back door and wrestling up. Shemaev knows this though, and he's going to start windshield wipering this, this uh, leg right here into more of like a knee on belly position, then, and then he starts sliding his weight back. Notice though, this is where Usman's being preemptive and a little bit ahead of Shemaev, right? As Shemaev windshield wipers and starts getting his hips back, Usman switches from having his hand cupped around or like wrapped around the left leg to being wrapped around the right leg of Chemaev. And if, as Chemaev's hips continue to travel towards the top of our screen away from us, Usman uses this as an opportunity to start getting his right elbow down to the mat boom and wrestling up on a single leg to get back to his feet. So man, great response from Usman there to get up, maybe a little bit too late, but still a good argument he won the third round here, right? I mean, like, I don't know. There was a lot of control time for Chemayev there. Close fight either way, but you get to see some solid jiu-jitsu from Usman. Don't ever say that he only wrestles, right?